Hey everyone, so today I'm going to continue off from part one and pretty much what's left is to pretty much clean up the valve cover gasket area, clean up, clean up the valve cover itself and pretty much check it over, make sure there's no cracks or anything that looks suspicious as I pretty much review everything before I assemble everything together. So currently the valve cover gasket has not yet reached here so I'm like, really Amazon? So um, yeah, so I'm pretty much going to do that part and see if I could go ahead and um, do the oil filter housing also so I got the gasket for that and yeah so these are the parts that came yesterday um, the oil filter housing gasket and three spark plugs in which I needed six but they gave me three in this package and then the one that's coming today will have the other three um, man filter and yeah I'm just gonna stick this on today I'm pretty much going to do the oil filter housing today also, plus go ahead and um, clean up the whole area around the block and make sure there's nothing looking suspicious and look, nothing looking suspicious in there. So, yeah, and then this is the housing itself. So I'm going to go ahead and um, clean that up. This is the old gasket right here. Yeah, like whoever did it before, mine was done at a shop prior. Last time it was changed and yeah, why well, they put like some gasket sealer in here. I guess they did that so that it could um adhere so it doesn't fall off when you're trying to put the gasket back on. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do that, but whatever. So I'm hitting life right now. Um almost done with taking out all this uh valve cover gasket maker crap off of it. Um yeah, so we got the edges out and just have to do the middle part next and then I'm gonna go ahead and clean out inside of here. Gotta make sure all these passages are cleaned out. All right, so went ahead and finished cleaning up the block. Um, valve cover is also cleaned up also, all the old um, gasket maker residues off. Um, hopefully yours don't have gasket on it or anything like that so you should be able to avoid all that uh, it was real pain to take off but it's off now um what i'm gonna do now is do the oil filter gasket so pretty much depending on um what kind of 335 you have if it's manual or if you have the sport package this might be a little bit different because you might have to like take off different stuff i'm just going to tell you how mine's is because yeah I'm not really looking at uh, the other specs, but I pretty much you'd have to drain out the coolant and all that good stuff just to um, take it out. I know that's one extra step you'd have to do. But the general idea of it is just, you just gotta take this one bolt off back here, and then this bolt here, and then right over there is another bolt you gotta take off. So it's actually three bolts in total, and um, yeah. Um, while you're here, this bolt, this hole's actually right here. If possible, it most likely will be pretty much deteriorated. So while you're there, you might as well um, just order new holes for this. And because sooner or later it's gonna start to leak. So it's made, yeah. So yeah, I would give that as a heads up. So you might have to get um, a new one of these. Might as well just do it while you're here. Um, so yeah, this bolt. So first thing I'm gonna do is just take this um, cap off and take out the old oil filter and um, yeah so they have the oil filter housing tool that you could go ahead and order that just goes over this and cups it but i don't have that one so i'm just gonna use this one that i've had when i had um working on my other cars i had so yeah so you just take this and just squeeze it tight and turn and just keep turning keep turning and then it'll come up okay so i took the filter off and then uh cleaned out the cleaned out inside the filter housing so what I'm gonna do next is just might as well just go ahead and put the filter in there. So this is the O-ring for the edge right here. So just gotta take this piece off right here and then stick this new one on and then take this green one off right here and uh, place it with this one right over here, this green one. Uh, the other one right here is for the oil bung at the bottom of the oil pan so you can always go ahead and really change that right there so i'm gonna do that one later actually i don't need to do it the one that was on there was still good 
so I just keep this for a later time and this is the filter itself right here so yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and get this put on transferred over and put back on right now okay so we got the filter on got everything swapped over the new gasket um before you put on just make sure to put a little oil on the green gasket piece here and then a little oil on the edge around here to make sure that it stays sealed create a good seal pretty much um yeah so go ahead stick this back in and we'll be good to go so i'm gonna tighten this back up and then the next thing we're gonna do is um get this screw out right here all right so we're gonna take this bolt off right here so we're gonna use an e10 socket um I believe a 10 millimeter should also fit on here but i'd rather just use the correct um socket on there so i'm um, mess around and strip the strip the bolt there's nothing worse than a strip bolt all right so this bolt is out now and just a note it is actually easier to take out if this is um off already so yeah might as well take this bolt off first before remove uh, after this is removed so yeah so to the next part what we're going to do is take this hose off um generally you go ahead and um drain the coolant out your car but i'm just gonna let some of it whatever drains out drains out i'm not really too fussy about coolant being dripping on the floor so it's a number 10 socket so this one and one on the side let me see if i get it yeah one on the side right here so these two bolts so that you get a clear shot at um this one right here it's an e10 also so yeah don't want to strip this bolts so might as well move this out of the way to get more clearance to get this off or if you finagle it enough with like a 10 or something you can get off but then again i don't want to um strip any bolts especially that one right here all right so i got the all right so i got the holes out the way um a little coolant dripped out the block but i moved this up out the way like that so that it won't um go anywhere actually let me move this down it's too close to the <laughs> going into the engine so yeah let it drip down there so yeah generally you should go ahead and have this piece replaced because most likely it'll be um deteriorated already so now's a good time to do it but if it if you took it off and it didn't break off then might as well just put it back but if you don't have time to like switch it out or anything like that but yeah so have a clear shot for this bolt now so i'm just gonna use that e10 again and take this one out all right so i got the bolt off but it was already stripped a little bit so i'm like i'm not sure how the heck it got stripped so like from another shop or something when it, where it was like when they changed it it got stripped they put it back in so i wish they had put a new bolt in but yeah so what i had to do is i just put in like a socket that was a little bit smaller hammered it over and um turned and pray to god that it turned out clean or whatever so i'm gonna do what i'm gonna have to do is go ahead and order a new bolt for this because I, I don't want to put the old one in because yeah that'll just suck all right so next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and go get this bolt out right here um since it's like obstructed by the intake manifold we're gonna have to loosen all the bolts they're like uh what is this a 7 16th um we use that take off the um all the bolts i forgot how much bolts it is but yeah it should be one here each at top and then at the bottom there should be like in between each hole right here so i'm gonna go ahead and take off uh my filter so she's a flathead take that and um just cool it off if you have stock intake, most likely, if you already took off that all the plastics and everything, then yours would already be off already. So yeah, once I take that off, then I'm gonna lift up the C-clip on the charge pipe and take the charge pipe off so that when I loosen up the intake manifold, I should be able to lift it up a little bit to be able to reach that other bolt that needs to be um, removed on the oil filter housing. Okay, with the intake manifold loose a little bit, so I got, I was able to get access to the bolt right here. So go ahead and crack that open. And then once that last bolt is out, then you're free to take off the oil filter housing. All right, so I have the bolt out now. So the oil filter housing is good to come out. 
that's the gasket right there and you see down there that's where the oil was leaking so you look at the front engine you really don't see an oil leak but it's yeah going out through the back and onto the back of the engine so if you're losing oil and you're looking around can't see anything or you see it dripping all the way in the back generally that's where it most likely might end up coming from okay i removed the old gasket put a new one on um when you put it on it's only gonna go on one direction and again put a little oil on the edges like dip your finger some oil and just like rub it along the edges or whatever so it gives it a nice clean surface to work with or not a clean surface but it should be clean already but just make sure that it, it gives it a good seal so I looked in the mystery bag of bolts that I have and then ironically I found a bolt that uh, actually fits the um, that bolt that was stripped out so thank goodness and I could use it and I could put this whole thing back together um, so the first bolt you should put in is the one at the bottom um, because if you don't, if it's if it's already flush to the um, engine, you won't be able to push the bolt in. You won't have room or anything like that. So push that one in, and put that one in, and put this one in also. So pretty much just tighten it up until it becomes flush, and it's like tighten, then tighten, then tighten, 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 tighten like that until it's fully tight. Um, you don't gotta like hulk it down or anything like that, but just tight enough. Now that it's on tight, uh. Thing is good let's so make sure to put the oil sensor wire back on so snaps right in you're good to go and then pretty much what I'm gonna do is just tighten back up the intake manifold and put everything back where it was supposed to do, go I had to move my power steering reservoir out of the way but on yours most likely you don't have to do it unless if you already did the modifications of moving your inlets over to the left Okay, so it's six o'clock ish, and guess what decided to show up? The gasket is here, so at least now I can put the valve cover back on. And the final couple of uh, wait a second, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I put those together. I was like, wait a second. All right, so yeah, all six of them were in there, so yeah, so I got all six spark plugs. I went ahead and tried these brand. Usually I have the NGK ones and I just gap them. But probably these work also just as good and they're about six bucks each. So I was like, alright, let me just test these out for now. And if they run run good, um might keep using them. If not, going back to NGKs, but for six bucks each, not that bad of a investment to try and test it out. Alright, so now that the oil filter housing is um back up and tight. Make sure to remember to put back on the charge pipe, the C-clamp, and put back on that hose right here. Um, generally, rule of thumb when you tighten anything on these cars is pretty much do not over tighten too much or else you will break the head of the bolt. And yeah, I've seen it happen many times, but luckily I haven't done it on this car yet. I actually scratched that yet. Um, knock on wood, dang it, no wood. <laughs> Oh, here you are. So yeah, um, yeah. So now I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble the valve cover. I'm gonna put the valve cover gasket on, and then I'm gonna go ahead and um, stick it onto the head of the car. So make sure the spark plug tubes are in, and yeah, that should be it. All right, so got it all on right now. Pretty much zip tied all the wires out the way and I had my wife hold the back piece out the way from me but it actually went in pretty smoothly um yeah so now I'm pretty much I'm gonna go ahead and like tighten down the bolts and like uh pretty much back first then over here then here then there and then keep alternating back and forth and then I'm really not gonna tighten down the spec I'm just gonna like snug them down a bit and then afterwards redo the same sequence but then um torque them down the spec okay so it's a little bit late so i still have to put some oil in the car and um afterwards it should fire straight up and i'm just gonna leave it um valve cover off for now so that i can see and make sure that not the valve cover but the engine cover off for now to make sure that the oil is not leaking but pretty much it's just putting it back together is pretty much the reversal of what's done in part one of the video so yeah, it's not really like a 
full on DIY tutorial on how to do everything since some of the um, configuration of cars of how they come is a little bit different. So yeah, out.